Welcome back to another video from Inside Wire. A very quick video for you today for me to show you how to set up a wireless uplink for your network. So let me paint a scenario for you. You are set up at home, you have a wired access point set up and your connection doesn't reach far enough and you want to set up a second wireless access point but you don't want to run the cables throughout your house uh, or office or wherever you are. So what you would need to do is you can you, you can plug in a wireless access point, sort of a midpoint, not quite right at the end, not quite right next to it. So plug the wireless access point in somewhere at a midpoint and that will then allow you to configure through the uh, Unify network controller. It will allow you to configure um, the wireless uplink. So what it will do is it will take your signal that you have at one point of the house and it will repeat it on for you. So what this will do is without actually plugging into your network, it will take your connection and settings and it will send out the signal further for you. As I said, this is really quick and easy to set up. It doesn't take a lot of effort and it's just a case of plugging in your wireless access point into a wall socket. Most ubiquity access points come with a power over ethernet injector. You'll be, you will need to use this to make sure that you can get power to the wireless access point. Before we jump in, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more great content. If there's anything else you'd like me to look at in terms of the ubiquity space, just drop me a comment in the section below and let's jump straight into it. Let's start logging into the UDM Pro. So I'm already logged in here, so we need to just go to our network controller. So what I actually have next to me is my um, AC Pro, um, which I'm actually gonna plug in and get set up. So it's plugged in via a PoE injector. I'm nowhere near my switches. I'm literally just plugged the access point into, uh, into a PoE injector. So I've just plugged it in. We're gonna give it a minute or two for it to pick up. So at the moment it's flashing white. So one thing to check first, just while that's loading, um, letting that do its thing. So we just wanna to go to settings, um, Wi-Fi networks and advanced. So one thing to make sure before you even get started is to make sure you have enable uplink connectivity monitor. If you don't have this, you won't be able to use any wireless access points as uplinks. So let's go back to devices. Also what you wanna check is go to your wireless access point, configurations, wireless uplinks, and you wanna allow mesh you want to allow meshing to another access point so you want to apply that turn that on on this one so let's click apply so that's just going to go off and provision so we'll give that a second okay and you can actually see now as soon as i did that we have one here which says pending adoption which is this new um, access point that i have sat next to me so i'm going to go off and click adopt so i'm just going to refresh the page quickly while that's doing that. And don't know why that popped up. Just close that. So you, I can actually see um, if I show you just here. Um, I don't think you can actually see it, but yeah, you can see the light has gone blue now, um, which means it's now adopted by your network and we see it's connected, but it's got it did have a hazard next to it but it seems to have disappeared which is good so that seems to be okay at the moment so that's now connected up if we have a look at the details down here we can see that it's got an IP address it's uptime number of users or guest we can see which one if I name my access points correctly we can see which one it's connected to at the moment I've got three that have the same name um, so it doesn't really show uh, what it's connected to, but in an environment, yep, you would be able to see that. Um, it will show you the networks that are broadcasted and it just gives you your other bits of information. So if I go to my map now of my network, you can actually, if I zoom in down here, you can see that I have another access point down here connected through the network going back across. As a secondary, I'm actually gonna try and connect my laptop 
um, to this access point. I'm not sure if it's actually going to do it or not. So I'm going to just turn off my Wi-Fi and then turn it back on and see if it reconnects to uh, yeah you can see it's disappeared off the network I want to see if it actually connects to this access point or not so we'll just give that a minute you can actually see now yeah, there we go so you can actually see I'm now my MacBook Pro is now connected to this access point which is going through another access point and then it scrolls through and goes to my switch and then out to my UDM Pro so as you can see it's actually quite straightforward to do it's quite easy and simple um, click of a couple of buttons and you will have your access point uplink connected and ready to go so I wasn't going to add this bit in but I actually have a few extra wireless access points and I want to see how many we can mesh together so just in case you want to mesh two three or four together um, we can give it a try now and see see how well it works so I'm just going to rename this access point to Wi-Fi 1 um, let's save that and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adopt the second one and the third one so I'm going to adopt them all but what I'm going to try and do is um, mesh 1 to 2 and then 2 to 3 so let's see how that works. So let's just give it a minute to adopt. Right, okay, so we can see we have, I've renamed them just in the meantime. So Wi-Fi 1, 2, and 3. So I'm gonna click on Wi-Fi 1. Um, and I'm just gonna see on here, not this bit, sorry, um, wireless uplink. So we can see that this is currently configured. It's using, um, it's using AC Pro as its wireless uplink. That's what it shows with that little green mark there. So if I go to Wi-Fi 2 now, and if I have a look at wireless uplinks, you can see it's using Wi-Fi 1, which is good, right? And if I go to Wi-Fi 3, uh, wireless uplinks, scroll down you can see it's using Wi-Fi 1 now I want Wi-Fi 3 to use Wi-Fi 2 if possible so I'm going to manually configure the uplink priority so I'm going to say use Wi-Fi 2 and then I'm just going to apply that I don't want to give it a secondary but if you want to give it a backup um, you can do that so now if I go across to my map it's just provisioning so I just want to give that a second there we go it seems to be there now so if we now go to the map there we go so you, you can actually see that all three of these are Wi-Fi 1 2 and 3 now I can't get something specifically to join Wi-Fi 3 um, to join to that access point but I just wanted to show you so I have one so I have three linking to two, two linking to one, one linking to my main wireless access point, and it seems to be working perfectly fine. I really hope this video has been helpful and informative. There is one thing, as I mentioned in the video, that you need to make sure that the enable uplink monitor is enabled. If that isn't, you're gonna have issues creating your uplink wireless network. Other than that, it's a click of a couple of buttons and away you go, you have a wireless uplink connection and your, and your wireless access signal will be stronger in places where it was weak before. The products used in this video are in the description below. Feel free to check them out. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate account. But the good news is if you do buy it through the link, it doesn't cost you a penny more. Be sure to have a look at my other videos and subscribe. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.